this is uh, your good friend Bongo here, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about this uh, cartoon movie. It's called Shush Batman. So years ago, this uh, Shush Batman came out as a uh, comic book, and uh, of course, Jenkins, being a huge nerd, he read this book and is all like, oh wow, this is one of the best uh, Batman comic books uh, that I've ever read. So then the uh, Shush Batman movie came out, uh, this uh, cartoon and uh, yeah Jenkins you know he uh, went out and bought it straight away and look ordinarily uh, when a 60 year old watches cartoons I tend to uh, walk away uh, because it's kind of sad but uh, I couldn't help noticing that there were uh, scenes where uh, uh, this uh, cat girl and uh, Batman they were they were getting it on this, this movie it's uh, it's edgy you know they 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 say swear words and they and they bone each other and stuff and you know this uh, cat girl well she had a pretty phenomenal looking rack so I thought oh, yeah I'll check it out and uh, wow I'm so glad I did because this movie honestly is brilliant so this story is that uh, the, there's a uh, uh, well, I don't know, there's this guy with uh, bandages all over his face, he's called uh, Shush, and uh, he's uh, making all the criminals, you know, all of Batman's uh, foes, like that uh, plant girl, and uh, and that uh, big guy, uh, Brain, and um, oh, I don't know, uh, there's a guy that uh, looks like a scarecrow, but I don't know what his name is, and anyway, he's uh, making them all do things, you know, the bad guy things, and Batman going around and uh, beating them up. In the meantime, uh, you know, uh, like I said, uh, this cat girl, uh, every time he's looking at her rack, he's getting a bit of a boner for her. So yeah, they end up, uh, you know, falling in love and getting it on. And when they're not getting it on, they're uh, teaming up and fighting crimes. And then eventually, you know, you find out who Shush is, and uh, I've been told not to tell anybody because uh, of something of spoilers or whatever, not that anyone cares, but uh, yeah, and then, um, well, I don't know, uh, that, that's pretty much it. So as far as things I loved about this movie, well, uh, like I said, there's plenty of sex and swearing and boobs. Well, not really. You don't actually see the boobs, but, uh, well, you know, if you put your imagination to work, you can see them. And this movie was pretty violent, you know? Uh, the people, they're getting the crap beaten out of them, and there's blood everywhere, and people are almost dying. Some people are dying. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. But one thing that really got to me was the voice acting in this movie. Oh, my goodness! It was fantastic, especially Catgirl. You know, it was almost like uh, the actress, she was just so good that they just gave her a piece of paper with the lines on them and, uh, you know, she just read it. She didn't even have to act. That's how good she is. She was just reading the lines off the piece of paper. And, uh, you know, Jenkins was saying something about, oh, you know, she sounds bored. But I'm like, hey, man, no, that's not what it is. She is just such a professional that uh, yeah, she doesn't need to put expression or anything into the words. She just reads it. Like that's how she makes her money. She walks in, reads it, goes home. Yeah! And I also really love the big reveal when you find out who Shush is. Now, this is the thing. Uh, you know, Jenkins ended up hating this movie because they changed it so much from the comic book. Like, uh, the character of Shush in the comics is uh, one guy, but in this movie, they changed him to someone else. And, uh, you know, I can kind of see why uh, fans of the comic book would be a little pissed off, but, uh, well... To be honest, that actually makes me feel really good because watching Jenkins suffering like that, walking away after spending like 30 bucks on the Blu-ray and only to be so disappointed, well, I felt really good about that. You know, it uh, made me feel kind of warm and fuzzy on the inside, not just on the outside. So uh, look, at the end of the day, uh, this movie was absolutely fantastic. If you're a fan of the comic book and you've seen this movie, uh, Shush Batman, and uh, you were as disappointed as Jenkins, or if you're going to watch it, can you make me a video of uh, uh, showing me your tears? Because they nourish me.
And uh, you know, quite frankly, I, I just love watching all you nerds being so upset about things. So yeah, if you can, uh, you know, send old Bongo some uh, videos of you guys crying, that would be great. So in the meantime, uh, yeah, look, uh, I really like this shush Batman. Uh, I think uh, the whole relationship between uh, the Batman and the cat girl, uh, God, these characters have such stupid names. Like that part, uh, I don't know, take it or leave it. The sex was great. Jenkins was all like, oh yeah, I like the relationship between them. I like uh, how they're teaming up and beating people up or whatever. Yeah, whatever, uh, you know, who needs it? But aside from that, everything else was just perfect. And I'm going to give the shush Batman a nine bananas out of ten. So thank you very much for watching this review of uh, Shush Batman and uh, yeah, if you've seen the movie, uh, let me know what you thought, uh, what you thought of the, the, the big changes that upset so many nerds and uh, let me know if you cried. If you can't send me any video of you crying, at least tell me about it. So yeah, drop me some comments uh, down in the thing uh, down there where you write words and uh, yeah, let me know what you thought and I'll see you again for more movie reviews. No monkey business. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nah.